day and welcome to A Taste of Milton by Dominic Pasqualino. This is the first of a series of cooking shows that uh, it's my pleasure to um, uh, demonstrate to you. And uh, we're going to be doing a homemade fettuccine in a herb garlic olive oil sauce with portobello mushrooms, asparagus, and cherry tomatoes. And I just want to show you the ingredients that we're going to be using. We have some fresh chives that are coarsely chopped. Uh, fresh basil and just torn into leaves, some fresh oregano coarsely chopped, a little bit of fresh thyme finely chopped, some diced onions finely diced, finely diced um, shallots as well, a little bit of pancetta, some garlic finely diced and a little bit of uh, portobello mushrooms cut into cubes, some porcini mushrooms. Porcini mushrooms are very hard to find fresh, so we're using the dry form. And this is available in uh, local Italian uh, s delis. And all you need to do with the dry porcini mushrooms is soak them in a little bit of water, and uh, they'll be reconstituted, and you'll be able to use the juice for flavoring the pasta dish, and the mushrooms as well um, into the pasta dish. We're going to use a little bit of asparagus, and we we'll cut the, the asparagus on the bias so it'll look very elegant on the finished pasta dish. Also a little bit of um, cherry tomatoes cut in half, and some fresh fettuccine. And you can also use a dry fettuccine if you don't have the fresh fettuccine available. Also we need a little bit of uh, black pepper, some extra virgin olive oil, if you prefer, you can make the dish spicy by adding some chili pepper or this uh, uh, paste of chili peppers that I like to use at my restaurant. And now we're going to proceed and show you the fettuccine with pancetta, portobello mushrooms, and asparagus. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead now and start preparing the pasta dish. We have some hot boiling water, salted to cook our pasta and a hot frying pan. It's been heating up for about a minute or so because you want to cook on a hot frying pan so your ingredients cook much better. We're going to start with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Next, some diced onions. diced shallots and the pancetta and we're going to fry the onions, shallots and pancetta together and this will this will be the base for your sauce. And as you see your onions are getting translucent you add the portobello mushrooms And next, you add a little bit of garlic, about a quarter of a tablespoon per order. Now a lot of the oil has been absorbed by the mushrooms. We're going to add a little bit more olive oil at this point. And we're going to deglaze the pan with some dry white wine. Now we're halfway through having the dish ready for you. So we want to start cooking the pasta. We're going to put one order of fettuccine in the boiling salted water. And we're going to add a little bit of the asparagus. We're going to cook the pasta and the asparagus together. And this will only take two minutes because it's fresh pasta that we're using. At this point, we're going to add some of the porcini mushrooms along with some of the juice. And this will give the dish a nice earthy flavor. A little bit of thyme. 
fresh oregano and chives. Their pasta is cooking nicely along with the asparagus. And now some cherry tomatoes. And we'll just let that simmer for about a minute or so. We'll turn the heat down and just wait for our pasta to cook. At which point we'll add the pasta and the asparagus to the sauce. It's almost ready to go. And a um, little bit of salt. Generous pinch. A little bit of fresh ground pepper. And for those of you that prefer spicy foods, you can add a little bit of chili pepper. I like to use this product called um, Tutto Calabria. It's a uh, crushed hot chili pepper, and it's basically the fresh chili pepper pureed with olive oil. We'll mix everything in, everything together. Turn the heat up again, and we'll add our fresh pasta to the sauce. This is smelling really great. Beautiful colors of the asparagus along with the pasta. The nice color of the mushroom sauce. In Italian this sauce is called alla boscaiola which means woodsman style because of the mushrooms. And we're going to toss everything together. And that smells terrific. It's a nice light pasta dish full of flavor. I like to add a little bit of fresh olive oil at the end of the cooking process just to give that fresh olive flavor and a little bit of fresh basil at the very very end and we're just going to coarsely tear the basil leaves and add them to our pasta. Give it a nice toss and it's ready to go. Wow, this is great. And we'll spoon the juices from the sauce and all the ingredients from the sauce right over top. And that looks fantastic. Now, if you want to garnish it, you can add a nice tomato rosette. I'll show you how to make it. It's very simple, especially if you're cooking for that special someone in your life. Just get a tomato and uh, start from the bottom where the stem is and just peel it, same way as you would an apple. very delicately cutting a little bit into the flesh but not too much and now you take the tomato peel and you start rolling it and as you roll it it'll take the shape of a rose and there you have it a nice beautiful rosette for the dish and we're going to put that right over top and you're ready to enjoy your pasta. Beautiful dish with fresh fettuccine, portobello mushrooms, asparagus, cherry tomatoes, and a herb garlic olive oil sauce. I want to thank the viewers for watching and I look forward to preparing more recipes in the future for you. And I also want to thank uh, Milton Today TV for sponsoring this program and remember always support our community because Milton is the community with a heart. We'll see you soon.